Sorry. Do you want people to subscribe? If you want people to subscribe, eat this treat. You heard him. So this will be the dog's first time in the car. I haven't set this up yet. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. I just got this off Amazon just to protect the back seat and keep the dogs uh, back there so they won't come up front. So I'll set this up, uh, show that to you, and then we'll get the dogs in there and try dog mode, see how they like it. So let's open this up. Just unclip those here. And you get some harnesses to, I assume, clip it to the seat. And an ad. Please leave a review. This looks like... That's nice. It's a little doggy seatbelt. So, oh, two of them, actually. So you can um, hook your dog up. So this part goes into the car's seatbelt. Um, clip and then this part goes on your dog so in case of an accident your dog doesn't go flying away so that's pretty nice and then here's the actual seat protector that'll go across the back so let me get it set up and we'll see how it looks All right, so the setup was pretty easy. It took me probably about two minutes. Um, just walk you through, you saw in the montage, you know, these um, go over the headrests in the front and back. And then maybe it was harder to see, but there's under here, these white um, kind of anchors that you shove into the seat. Uh, they don't fit in there great, um, but I, I, got them, I got the one on the other side in there. So that's nice. And then after the white bar on the back, you have an elastic strap here. So you just put the elastic strap under the seat like that and it keeps everything held in place. I really like the sides because they protect the doors as well. Uh, it's open now and then when the dog hops in, you have zippers here and you can just lift this and zip it up. And then that way it protects your door um, from the dogs jumping on it or slobbering or anything. Um, and then in the middle, there's this little mesh gate, which I needed because Ari likes to put his feet on the center console and stick his head up in the front so hopefully this will stop him from that but if you want to let him up again you have zippers here you can open that up and let him through and then on the left side here it is zipped up but you also get some storage here if you want to open these up put um, probably not dog treats in it but maybe some baggies or whatever you want to put in there a towel to wipe their feet off with um, that's awesome you have some storage there too and then for the seat belts, uh, what you saw was uh, what I showed included in the package. You can buckle them in. There's Velcro here. And then you can see through the Velcro, I can buckle the dogs in uh, to keep them safe. All right, you guys ready for dog mode? All right, let's go. Good boy. Okay, so they're in. <laughs> it's holding Ari back. He's not sure what to do. So I'm going to zip them up here. Okay. So they're in. Okay, so to turn on dog mode, you just click on your climate here, and then you click dog mode. It'll turn it on auto, and to whatever temperature you have set, that's where it's gonna keep it when you get out of the car. Dog mode is on. It's no longer an animated dog, it used to move. You can hear the HVAC system is on, keeping them comfy. Let's see it from Ari's point of view.
All right, the dogs are currently in the car and you can monitor from the app how it's going. So you can see under climate, dog mode is activated. The interior is currently 71, so it's set to 70. It's still cooling them off in there, um, but you can just uh, check up, make sure everything's looking good. If your battery hits 20%, it will turn off. So hopefully you either don't have a low battery and you wouldn't be leaving them in there for more than a few minutes at a time anyway. All right, so when I walked away, the car locked. See how these guys are doing? They look comfy. All right, so I'm in the passenger seat and dog mode stays activated. It, this screen will only turn off if you get in the driver's seat and then you can deactivate it or whatever you need to do. But this is what people walking by will see. Looks like if you leave a passenger in here, they're stuck with this message as well. <laughs> All right, so one last thing I wanna do for dog mode is see how much energy it uses per hour uh, or in miles per hour. Um, so we're at 243 miles and it's 210. So I'll check back at 240 and see what we went down to. All right, back in the car, it's 240. 241, we've used two miles of range. So only four miles an hour, that's pretty nice. Uh, I mean, hopefully you're not leaving the dogs in the car for more than 15 or 20 minutes at a time. So really nothing you even need to think about. All right, what do you think guys? You like it? I think they like the treats more than the dog mode. Well, it's a success. If you just need to run in the store for a minute, leave your dogs in the car safely, uh, you can just turn dog mode on, keeps the temperature, they don't seem to mind, and I would highly recommend getting some type of protection for your seats back there so they don't make them all muddy.